Hello, and welcome to PCI's Tech TV. In this episode, I'll be demonstrating how to input and set up satellite imagery into the 3D Feature Extract software, so we can accurately extract 3D objects, such as buildings and other features of interest. As such, this Tech TV episode will focus on a small set of important steps that will help you to begin using 3D Feature Extract with your own satellite imagery. Let's get started. So today we're going to be working with Pleiades imagery. Pleiades is an interesting sensor. It is a high resolution, recently commissioned sensor that provides a unique tri-stereo imagery. Now, uh, most people are familiar with stereo pairs, where we have two different images of the same area or overlap area captured from two different viewing angles, which we can use for extracting 3D objects, or we can also use for generating a digital elevation model. The difference here is that Pleiades provides three different looking angles. They provide a forward looking, a nadir, and a back. So it makes it a, an extremely interesting sensor to use for a software such as 3D Feature Extract. So to get going, we need to open up the 3D Feature Extract software. Let me just put this into view. Now, loading satellite imagery into 3D Feature Extract is actually extremely easy. So all we need to do is we're going to click on the Files tab here, along our ribbon, and we're provided with the options, well, first of all, we're provided with our backstage area, so it organizes the images, the DEMs, our vectors, etc., into separate categories. We also have the options to set up our project and save our project, as well as loading our data. So we're going to click on the Load Data button. And this is going to open up a file explorer window where we're able to navigate towards our input data. I'm just going to show all files here. And with the Pleiades data, I'm going to simply load this XML file. It's a vol underscore PHR file. And that's going to load the imagery as, long, as well as its RPC information, rational polynomial coefficient information, that's going to give us the geometric model needed to accurately extract 3D features. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to open this. I'm going to do the same thing for the other three images. Or two images rather. So now I have the tri-stereo uh, imagery loaded for Pleiades into 3D feature extract. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a vector layer. This is our workspace for creating or essentially digitizing 3D vectors or the 3D objects. So now I'm going to go back to our main viewing environments, clicking on the Home tab. Now as you can see here, we don't have the, the tab yet for working on our, for actually extracting our features. In order to, for that to show up, we're going to click on the Layer Manager, and then we have our vector, set, our vector layer which allows us that we're going to actually be working with. So I'm going to make it our visible layer. I'm going to click on this button here to make it the working layer. Now that I've made that the working layer, we have our options and our tools for performing feature extraction. So I can now go to this bottom area here and I can successfully load or send one of the images to one of the viewers. So I'm going to take this middle image here I'm going to send it to the left viewer. And then I'm going to take this final image here and I'll send it to the right viewer. So once again I'm going to go back to the Home tab. I'm just going to click on this button here which allows me to lock the cameras so that when I zoom in and pan I'll be zooming in and panning around the same area for both images. So let's find a quick building to digitize and make sure that we set everything up correctly. So here's a very simple building. We're just going to quickly, roughly digitize the area just to make sure that we have our accurate model is, is in place. So I'm going to hold down the control key to begin digitizing. And I'm going to draw a polygon around the outline of this building. And as I said, all we're doing at this point is just verifying that we have a reasonable model. And once I've gotten my last uh, node clicked, I can simply right click on it to close the shape. Now, 
And this other window, if we go to the 3D feature extract, we can see that we're locked in on the move epipolar direction. So I can only move this in the epipolar direction. And if we have an accurate model, it should line up nicely with the building, in which case it does. And now we know that we have successfully loaded our satellite imagery along with the necessary geometric uh, information required to extract features and we can begin extracting our features. Thank you very much for listening to another PCI's Tech TV. Have a great day.